Ash Wednesday is coming upon us quickly. Ash Wednesday is the beginning of the season of Lent, and it's an important part of our journey to Easter. Lent is a call to radical discipleship. As we transition from winter to spring, as leaves begin to bud, as flowers begin to blossom, as things seem to come back to life again, it's only natural that at this time of the year, that as Christians, we too would begin to follow the same transition in our own life. Lent marks the beginning of a dark and reflective period in the Christian calendar. Lent is a time for us to prepare our bodies, our minds, and our souls to meet the risen Lord on Easter. The rituals of Lent, prayer, fasting, solitude, repentance, have a long history in the church. Lent is a time of intentional spiritual formation, a time for us to deny ourselves, pick up our cross, and follow. Lent reminds us that we are part of an alternative community. We are travelers along the way of spiritual formation, led, modeled by Jesus himself. Lent is an opportunity for us to live out these 40 days the same way that we should live out the rest of the year. While self-denial and giving up the luxuries in life and our addictions and our habits is a first step, it's more than that. Lent is a time for us to actually become free. No man can ever consider himself free who cannot say no to himself on occasion. Lent's an opportunity to put down the habits that bind us, to draw ourselves closer to Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, to walk along the path that he walked, to follow him into the wilderness. It's a period of self-reflection, of identity forming, and preparing for a way that we will live and serve the community around us. I'd like you to hear the words of Isaiah the prophet. Is not this the fast that I choose, to loose the bonds of wickedness, to undo the straps of the yoke, to let the oppressed go free, to break every yoke? Is it not to share your bread with the hungry, to bring the homeless poor into your house? When you see the naked, to cover him and not hide yourself from your own flesh. If you pour yourself out for the hungry, if you satisfy the desire of the afflicted, then shall your light rise in the darkness and your gloom be as the noonday. Through this Lenten season, we are invited to walk along with Christ, to weep with those who weep, to mourn with those who mourn, to make peace with those who choose war, 